Hey everyone, we're in San Diego at WET 2022. Now with more and more people working from home, keeping our data safe has become more and more important. Now do we use hardware or software encryption to do so? Hint, the answer is always hardware encryption. Secure Ninja. Hi, we're here at the Data Locker stand and I'm here talking to Shauna from Data Locker. Hello Shauna, how are you doing? Hello. So, hey, it's uh, February 2022. More and more people are working from home. The normal uh, mode of working is going to work and having all your uh, valuable data on drives and we've used products like BitLocker, right? And BitLocker is very, very secure, but it's software based. Um, you're gonna have a TPM chip on your motherboard that stores those very sensitive long keys and you unlock them with a password. And that was great for the old way of working. You could also use HSM and you could move those strong keys to a centralized location if you want. But with more and more people working from home, we need to get more and more mobility, but still keep our data very, very secure. So Shona, tell us a little bit about your products here. I see we have some self-encrypting drives, so that's what we would normally call them, hardware-based encryption. Um, what kind of encryption are these devices using? We use AES 256-bit encryption. So standard 256, nice strong AES encryption, very well trusted, excellent. Now these devices, they're hard drives, they're USB devices, but I see that they have, some of them have pin pads. Tell us about these devices and why we use the pin pad. So the pin pads are used for authenticating. You know, everyone knows how to enter a password. Not everyone knows how to use BitLocker. Uh, but because the encryption is done at the hardware level, the encryption is done for you. The users authenticate with a password. And as you can see on our keypads here, we have advanced uh, security features where we have a rotating pin pad to prevent pattern analysis. And so the users would enter in their password directly on the device. Uh, and it's kind of mixing up for me here. Uh, but basically, we, the numbers rotate so and the letters so that you can prevent pattern al analysis. And once the device is authenticated, it unlocks and it opens up the secure partition. Wow, that's amazing. So uh, hardware-based encryption, very, very fast, very, very efficient. Um, now, I suppose having that pin pad, you've got a couple of different modes. We can use it as a standalone user, carry your data sure. along with you. Um, I guess you can configure it to read only or read and write depending on what the user wants. But if we're going to leverage something expensive like this into the in enterprise environment, what other features do these types of devices have? So with our safe console central management, you're able to manage the encrypted devices and you're able to utilize your company's uh, PKI uh, infrastructure. And uh, we have a feature called Zone Builder, which will tie the specific machines, uh, specific devices to the specific machines via certificate. And um, there's other advanced features where you can uh, set policies and and um remotely manage, remotely wipe, and remotely uh, manage the devices. Oh, so then we're seeing some features that we see commonly in EMM, Enterprise Mobility Management as well, also called MDM. So yeah, it looks for your certificate, your corporate certificate, if it's not there, then there could be a policy that you're not able to read or write, whatever your policy dictates. Absolutely. That's amazing. Okay, so, you know, the buzzwords we hear all the time, we hear zero trust, and the, this conference, the last two years is all about zero trust but also compliance. So do you guys have any uh, compliance tools that you use with this type of hardware? Absolutely, with our safe console, you're able to audit the drives, you're able to audit usage and audit file activity, and you're able to uh, keep track of who's logging in, when and where, uh, it reports all back to the safe console. Excellent. Well, that seems to be, you know, this is where the security realm is going. We need all these different policies around our data. Uh, it's becoming more and more important to keep it secure and to keep it safe. So listen, Shauna, thanks very much for talking to us. We'll see you again sometime. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Now we've got a lot more content coming from West 2022. So please be sure to subscribe and to like, and we'll see you soon.